So this is a half inch ball valve. As you can see, this used to be in there with a little ball valve. And that cap here was the lever to turn that thing. So, what I did you get the uh, Allen key in there, you unscrew that cap, then you can get rid of all the junk in it. And uh, this little pot here, you just pry it, pry it equally on both sides, it's gonna pop off. You'll be able to go through the, uh, the cap and then you can unscrew the cap that's on there. It's usually a screw here. And I remove everything but the little washer in there. And then once you remove this little guy here, you need a ball bearing. You put that ball bearing here, you need a spring, soft spring, because all I'm aiming at is 5 psi. So this is the spring, I cut it to the length and uh, stretch it out a little bit and test it with a gauge, which is, which is on the bench right there. So you put that there, solder that the part that was here on there. And now you have a 5 psi fuel regulator and if I want it stronger, I can put some uh, washers in there or I can uh, elongate the spring and make it 7 psi for instance. So there you go, all made fuel pressure regulator. It's nice.